Hey everyone, it's Carla from Tiny AB Crafts, and today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I'm um, going to show you some of my haul from the last two, um, from the last flea market I went to, and from when I went thrifting the other day, aka just rolling up to Buffalo Exchange and buying stuff. Um, I figured a video format would be more interesting so you can get a feel of how everything flows and looks and stuff. So let's get started. Um, the last flea market I went to was the vintage flea market that they have by triannually here in San Diego. And I went with my friend Megan again. And it was middle of November, second week of November. It was packed. <laughs> There were a lot of people there, a lot, lot more than what's usually there. Um, it, there, there were tons of strollers, and it's a dog-friendly area because it's literally a parking lot behind a theater. So, um, a lot of strollers, a lot of dogs, lots of people, and I got really claustrophobic there, and I'm not claustrophobic, but I, um, Megan and I made the best of it. We each got things. I don't remember what Megan got. She should totally start a blog so I can remember what she got. Hint, hint. But what I got was a small number of things because nothing really caught my eye because a lot of it was uh, home decor. <laughs> and I'm not in the market for a coffee table anytime soon. But um, I got a camera bag. It's a nice old leather camera bag which I need to probably take to my shoe repair place and get this leather conditioned so it doesn't fall apart but it's a nice size it will comfortably hold my uh, grandma's old x20 camera once i can lose a little away from her or continue to borrow it i should say um it was really cute like i walked by and saw it and i was like that's a camera bag i need that and the seller was like oh my gosh you know what a camera bag is oh here you go sweetheart and i was like thank you yes i am very much aware of what a camera bag is um I got this scarf that I'm wearing. It's a really cute scarf that's silk, and I got it for a very nice price. Um, there were a lot of other scarves. A lot of them were uh, cottony, because a lot of the scarves I wear on my hair are either satin or silk because of the texture of my hair. Um, right now my hair is wrapped up. And I'm going to set it later, so I'm not taking it off. I'll probably post it in the actual post of the size and whatnot. Um, after that, we kind of got a little fed up with the amount of people that kept bumping into us without saying excuse me and being polite. So we walked to The Girl Can't Help It, um, which is around the corner, which is a um, really nice vintage shop here in San Diego. Um, I went to it the... Not last year, the year before last, with uh, Jamie from Atomic Redhead, and we had fun, and it was fantastic, but uh, in November she was doing a sidewalk sale, so there were a lot of things that were, like, extremely discounted, so I was, I took, I took advantage of that. Uh, I left with two things, but it was still very nice. Um, I got, um, some seamless stockings, but the... The package was really cute, and uh, this is the package. I like the girl's dress and her little dog, and um, they fit. Like, the actual stockings, I put them in a Ziploc, because I don't have any stocking storage, which I should probably rectify that. But, um, yeah, they're just seamless stockings in my skin tone. Like, it, it looks so lovely on my legs. It's, it, it, everything just blends perfectly, and I need to... Uh, I should have bought more, but um, I'll look into the uh, I'll look into it. We'll see if I can find more. Um, and I got this dress, this really cute summery, like '80s does late '30s, early '40s dress. It's uh, it's it's funny because I saw the tag and it's this company Casper and my grandmother has a bunch of Casper suits so I saw that and I was like I know this brand this is a brand that I'm aware of let me buy the thing I tried it on it fits me like a glove 
once it's not raining and being an El Nino out there, I will definitely wear it in the spring or the summer. But it was really cute and I like the button detail on the waistband. It's got a really nice zip in the back. And it was cute. And the second I grabbed it, Megan was like, try it on right now. Go do the thing. <laughs> and um, the shopkeeper, when she saw me in it, she's like, oh my gosh, that's your dress. That's going home with you, isn't it? I said, yes, yes. <laughs> if I didn't have other things to do, I'd wear it home. Um, and then yesterday, so Sunday, I went to uh, Buffalo Exchange to, you know, peruse some new things in the new year. I first went to Flashbacks, which is right across the street from it, which is another, like, thrifty, retro-y vintage store. And nothing really caught my eye. Well, I take that back. There were a few things that caught my eye, but they were either way too small or way too big to the point where I couldn't alter them. So I just walked on across the street, went to Buffalo Exchange, and I got two things, actually. Uh, oop, that's a gift. I can't show that one. Um, I got tags still on it. I got this little blouse, which I didn't button up. Let me do that. Because the buttons are really cute, but it makes me sad because the very last spot is missing a button, so I'm going to have to replace them anyway. But this is the blouse, and this is the detailing on it, and there's some cutaway. You can see, but I loved the embroidery, and I saw it and I was like, this is coming home with me. I, I, I need to try it on. It's coming home with me. Even if it didn't fit, I probably would figure something to do with it, like knock off the pattern and expand it. But, um, like, look at the sleeves. Isn't that cute? It makes me want an embroidery machine so I can just decorate all of my things, because it would take me forever and a day to embroider everything by hand. Uh, the other thing I got was this. Oh, and I apologize for the dying light. The, uh, the, the, it's rainy. It's raining outside. This skirt, which has, it's, it's fox hunt print. So I like fox hunty things. So that was really fun to uh, see and grab. And the coolest thing about it, there are pockets. I can put things in it, like my phone. And other cute things I see, like my lipstick. Because that's about all that fits in women's pockets. But yeah, those are the uh, things that I purchased. And I was looking through my calendar to see what else is coming up. So aside from like regular thrifting and Buffalo Exchange Adventures, there's the uh, San Diego Rummage Sale, which is... I want to say in March, I'll double check it, so if any of you locals want to go, I'll have the link below and on the actual blog post itself. I um, would really like to go to that, because uh, it's a two-day two event, yeah, it's for, uh, Saturday and Sunday, and I um, want to go, and I want to buy new things for myself. So you can all be like, look at this, look at these cute things that she got. Um, there's the other San Diego Vintage Flea Market. I have no idea when it is. I'll check their Facebook page. And that's it that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, but I have a question. What things would you like to see me vlog about? Because I had mentioned in my little resolutions that I would like to do a bit more vlogging. Because it's fun and you can see my face and my expressions and the crazy things I do with my hands. If you know me in real life, you know I talk with my hands a lot. But, um, you know, what would you like to see? Comment below, comment on the blog post, send me an email. If you want tutorials, let me know. I'll try my best. But yeah, what, and another question, what things have you guys recently acquired while thrifting? Let me know. Okay.